Mr. Speaker, uh, may I thank you first for condemning the wanton killing that happened at the Lekki Toll Gate. I am also an honorable member of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and I stand to speak um, against what my colleague, Mr. Desmond Elliott, has spoken about. Mr. Speaker, may I let you know and reiterate that my colleague, Mr. Desmond Elliott, was once an actor. So we need to find out whether he thinks he is on the acting field on the stage or in the theater, rather knowing that he's in the house here. May I let you know that, Mr. Speaker, that my colleague, Mr. Desmond Elliott, talking about the social media today, is also a celebrity who have used his acclaimed status to drive his ambition to the national, to the house, and he did a lot of campaigns and people supported him. If not, Mr. Desmond is nothing but a man who has no pedigree or antecedent in politics, if not for the law of Godfatherism that brought him into the house. So for such people, it is expected that they betray your loyalty that has been vested in them and the trust to come to the house and defend the fellow youth. Mr. Speaker, I am also a youth and I understand the crimes out there. My colleague is talking and talking and talking and showing all Superman power as if he just got a major role. Sir, this is reality and not acting that we are facing here. Mr. Speaker, my colleague spoke about celebrities and actors. May I let you know that these people or this social media that my colleague is talking about is the new judiciary system of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This is where matters have been deliberated and attention is being gotten to our little problem since the local government as an angle of the government is not functioning and has not been functioning. So an average Nigerian citizen do not have access to reach his leaders to express his problems and get immediate attention. Mr. Speaker, like my colleague said, in the next five years, if we continue to look at Nigeria, there will be no Nigeria today because you politicians would have looted all the funds in the system and the children will have nothing. And we will not wait until the next five years for us to speak out. That is why we are running the era of Soros okay. We are no longer keeping quiet for you unscrupulous men without integrity, unidentified, physically identified looters. May I put my words clearly, Mr. Mr. Speaker? Because our politicians have turned to broadly like looters. They have turned to broadly like robbers. They have turned to broadly like liars who have no integrity, like my fellow colleague, Mr. Desmond Elliott. And I am suggesting that we look for the nearest psychiatric hospital to check my colleague in for immediate attention, as we do not intend to lose him to some of the people who have died in the Lekki To massacre. Let me thank you for your uh, intervention. Mr. Speaker, may I also plead with you that the issue of the order of Lagos is so alarming and shameful to us as youth. And will you ban it? See or when you about to take with us, sir. Ah, in Bere in Kutopa Babeni. The art of Oba of Lagos has showed that there needs to be proper investigation to his character and person and how he relates with people in his area. The office of the Oba is supposed to consult with the oracles and our ancestors when there are troubles in the land so we can prefer solution. Rather, the office of the Oba has turned into a storage of dollars and palliatives and that needs to be questioned and properly investigated, sir. May I also plead with you, Mr. Speaker, that you should look into the bills that have been presented to you and be sure that you are defending and supporting the interests of the youth. Our politicians have turned into nothing but animals who worship nothing but money. May I also bring to your notice, Mr. Speaker, that there is a fellow member of the, 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 the government as well 
who kept some palliatives in his house and decided to share it on his birthday. My people will say, Ulori Buruku Nyewasa, with all due permission and respect, Ashiere Ole, and then one on one pension pension. It is nothing but an action of greed. Mr. Speaker, my fellow colleague is addressing we youths as common children. Ah, that's one then we're bad, then we're robo. We the you that we as is talking about are the people like us who say we die here or Nigeria gets better. Because we want a good Nigeria and a new Nigeria for our children. May I also let you know, Mr. Speaker, that our interrupted process at the Lakito Gate is supposed to be a kitchen garden where we wanted to cook soup for our future generation to eat. We just put the firewood on the fire and the pot. We have not put the pepper, we have not put the beef, the seasoning, and the onions and the oil to taste so that we can build a new Nigeria for our children. And our children will be the ones to eat the soup. We are not greedy, Mr. Speaker. We are just a generation who does not take nonsense. And we are just a generation who wants a new Nigeria. Nigeria has been pregnant for years of corruption, of years of inhumanity, of years of insane leaders, of years of lies and deceit, of years of looting and bad governance, bad road, bad hospital, bad police system. And we thought that if we could con 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 conduct a cesarean section for this pregnancy, we'll be able to bring out all these and give birth to a new Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, before I go, I would request a one minute interaction with my colleague so that he would know that we are all here to protect the interests of the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That's not you already know correct. If nobody said that they do you for a dream, you you they talk about social media for you. You think say we no go here. You think say some people where they know they are not going to take content or say you go the jambula mouth for house. Be careful, make you not begin to see people like us for your dream. Make you make you be very, very careful. Meanwhile, me and you will go see Jan for Sulin. Make I face, <laughs> make I tell you, not away if you do me. But Dabi Amila, Oga, now my Baba So, you know, go dead, anything will happen to me. You see, say confidence in me, <laughs> Mr. Speaker, thank you very much, sir, for your little one minute time. Mr. Speaker, before I go, I would want to plead with you not to sign, to use your good office, not to sign any bill that is against the interest and the benefit of the public. May I also let you know that we seek justice for the people who have been killed. Mr. Speaker, I know that your office still has some powers to do some things because as it is, our governor too looks like he's not okay. He is mentally disabled because today he will say A, tomorrow he will say B. And as my fellow colleague who is not here today said, Papa, he said they have removed the engine, they put B2 tomorrow and they put that next tomorrow. So the engine of our federal uh, governor is not properly okay and also needs to be checked so that we can know the truth of who ordered the massacre killing, why he ordered the massacre killing in Lekki, as there was no iota of crime um, recorded in the case of Lekki. Mr. Speaker, with all due loyalty and respect, I would appreciate if quick intervention is quickly given to our governor, Governor Sonwolu, as that man is not okay. And we can advise him that he should step down since he has admitted that he committed the mistake and the blunder. Mr. Speaker, thank you very much for giving me the audience. We appreciate your office and we pray that you distinguish yourself from all of that, even though you also have your own past antecedents, which you have been forgiven because of the love of the little little that you have been doing in the recent times to us, you have come to realize that government is for benefiting the people. And if you retire yourself, now Swulere they come. So if you not do well, <coughs> you wait till your eyes see for Swulere afterward. Last last week, Mr. Speaker, may I please appeal with you to help me tell my fellow colleague, Mr. Desmond Elio, that all those washing basin he put in Lekki and i'm using it for us to wash our hands due to covid he should come and pack it if that is what he has done that is making him to be jambula talking jambula mouth in rough hand in his mouth he should come and take it because as it is we are suspecting that there is no covid the government only used covid to cash out on us that is why they have not shared mr speaker may i also plead with you that you should use your honorable office to help us bring to justice oh, i need to ask this question mr speaker i put it forward to you sir who is supposed to be prosecuted? The people who kept the palliative without sharing it to the rightful owners or the people who looted the palliative warehouses 
and took food that are supposed to be your fundamental human rights, sir. You see, when we say that there's injustice in the land, that is why we will not stop at using the social media to push for all the attention, all the justice that we need to get. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the time out. May I further um, retreat that Mr. Desmond Elliott, according to David Doe, one of the youth, has said that all the memories, the fake memories of acting that you brought to us, we have forgotten about it and you have been jeopardized with this single act of yours. So if you would tell Mr. Desmond Elliott to please check himself into the nearest psychiatric hospital, it will be very good, sir. I remain your honorable a Dayton who stands for nothing but justice for the common man as I am a common man and a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God, sir.